You know, one of the great things about looking back is that it gives you a new perspective on looking forward. It gives you the chance to reconnect with something, something important that you might have forgotten. It gives you a chance to think, I wonder what happened to that person. Now, this is very true of the seventh of my 13 choices as I look back at the best short films that Odyssey Impact has made during the 13 years I've been here. Back in 2014, 276 schoolgirls were abducted by the terrorist group Boko Haram from Chibok in Nigeria. Now, two years later, Odyssey went to Nigeria and shared a remarkably precious moment with one of those mothers of the girls that were kidnapped. Esther Yakubu sat with us and wrote a letter to her missing daughter. Dear Moida, it has been a long I heard from you. How are you and your friends, wherever you are? Hoping that you are doing better or managing life. And I know that the angel of the Lord Almighty is with you. And he will continue to be with you wherever you are. You don't have any idea of the plans I have been planning for you all this while. Since from birth, I've been planning for you, your life, your education, your health, before you were kidnapped. I wanted you to go to the university because I've never been there. I planned that for you. I bought a showing machine for you and a traveling bag and some set of clothes. But up to now, I have not seen or hear anything from you. But I believe that one day I will fulfill that my promise to you. And I will see you again at my happiness, my joy, my life will be complete with you. I want you to ask the Lord Almighty to be with you, to guide you, and to protect you wherever you are. Your guiding angel is there with you, and the Lord is there with you and he will see you through. I know I miss you, but I have that heart and I have that hope that one day I will see you again. Such a tender and precious moment, don't you think? And there are two reasons why I chose this film. One, as filmmakers, we literally tread on the stuff of people's souls as one of my mentors once said. People open up some of the most precious and vulnerable parts of their lives to us strangers. And we have a duty, I think, to, to honor and protect the story, the moment, and those people who share it with us. And secondly, what better way to, to do that, to honor them by keeping that story and that hope alive? So that's especially the case here. Please remember Esther and her daughter Maida in your prayers and in the work you can do by checking out two websites, Bring Back Our Girls and Pathfinders Justice. And there are dozens of other stories, short stories that you can find on Odyssey's website and also Odyssey's YouTube channel that will help perhaps bring back and reignite new stories and new hope.